Hello friends, in this video, we'll solve some of the important questions related to MIG welding. So our first question is, MIG welding tends to be susceptible to lack of fusion problems. This is because of, so generally MIG welding is very prone to lack of fusion problem and the region, they are asking the region. So option A is poor maintenance of equipment. Option B is incorrect settings. Option C is poor internal cleaning. And option D is all of the above. So friends, the correct answer is all of the above because because of the these above regions, lack of fusion problem can occur. See, if the maintenance of the equipment is not not proper, then that will result in you know malfunctioning of wire feeder or the contact tip might be deteriorated. So that can result in incomplete fusion. Again, if the uh, machine setting is not right like the voltage current wire feed speed is not uh, correct then that will also give lack of fusion and if there is poor interrun cleaning poor interrun cleaning like spatters if there are spatters it is not cleaned or if there are contaminants between the successive welding passes then also lack of sidewall fusion can happen friends uh, slag are not uh, you know it this doesn't come in mig welding because uh, mig welding filler wires are not coated with uh, you know uh, uh, flux so spatters or other com contaminants may come on the welding run so that must be clean so all these factors contribute to you know lack of fusion now friends before moving forward i would request you to please sub, uh, join my channel see after subscribing my channel you will see a join icon and after pressing that join icon and by paying a very 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 small amount you can become a member of channel and you can support me financially now our second question is the static output characteristic required for mig a mag welding would be so the output correct characteristics required for mag welding is current constant voltage see the our correct answer is constant voltage in mig or mag welding constant voltage characteristic is required if it's with constant voltage in mig welding you can get stable arc the wire feed control will be better and the penetration control will also be good but if you are doing smw for a shielded metal arc welding then constant current characteristic is used so for smw constant current characteristic is used and for gmw constant voltage is used now question number three a common gas mixture used in mig welding nickel alloys mig welding of nickel alloys to combine good levels of penetration with good arc stability would be so they are asking which gas will be good for welding of nickel alloys to get good level of penetration and good arc stability so our answer will be correct answer will be 100 percent argon so for you know nickel alloys 100 percent argon will be correct gas correct shielding gas uh, including uh, see not only nickel alloys but uh, alloys which are having high chromium content like inconel so for inconel also 100 percent argon will be a better shielding gas now question number four which gas is the most suitable gas for gmw of 304 and 316 L steel. See 304 and 316L stainless steels are austenitic stainless steel and for welding of these stainless steels uh, the better the best gas combination or gas mixture is argon plus 1% oxygen. 1% oxygen is given to you know imp uh, it gives uh, good weld characteristics and also it doesn't cause excessive oxidation. So uh, argon with uh, 1% oxygen will be a better option. However, you have to avoid oxygen in case uh, the oxidation is a concern. If the oxidation is a major concern, then you have to avoid oxygen. Otherwise, 1% oxygen will give good result. <laughs> MIG and MAG welding has a tendency to give lack of sidewall fusion. So MIG or MAG welding give lack of sidewall fusion due to many reasons. Now, when see what conditions they have given, spray transfer conditions are used, 100% CO2 shielding gas is used, pulse current is used, and deep transfer conditions are used. So, they are asking the most appropriate answer. So, uh, the most appropriate option will be deep transfer conditions. See, mode of metal transfer. 
there are many types of metal transfer in mig or mag welding and i have explained this metal transfer in my c sweep mig welding chapter video so i'll just highlight the types of metal transfer in mig or mag welding there are four major type type of metal transfer that is dip transfer spray transfer pulse transfer and globular transfer friends i will not explain it here because i have already explained this transfer with complete mechanism in my mig welding video lecture series so just i wanted to highlighted those type of metal transfers metal transfer is the transfer of filler wire in the molten weld tool that is metal transfer so it can happen in uh, one of these techniques now the our of correct answer was dip transfer condition so when dip transfer condition is used lack of fusion chances of getting lack of fusion will be more because see what is dip transfer condition in dip transfer condition there will be short circuit means uh, and intermittent current will pass it means uh, the circuit will uh, you know short then leave then short then leave means intermittent current will be passed see what happens the wire touches the metal the wire touches the metal during welding melts and it goes back then again this process is repeat and it repeats almost 200 times in a second so this is short circuiting type and this mode of metal transfer is always associated with lower heat lower energy input and due to that side wall chance uh, fusion will be uh, occurred now question number 6 the spray transfer mode of gmaw is characterized by so i i already told you that there are four types of metal transfer so it is asking again the spray transfer mode of gmaw is characterized by option a is giving deep penetration being suitable for positional welding giving excessive spatters all of the above so it is asking about the characteristics of gmaw this is a very straight forward question and for straight spray transfer the deep penetration characteristic will be most appropriate answer the answer will be giving deep penetration so what happens in spray transfer the wire is typically charged with very high current it is charged with high current and that is why penetration is very deep in spray transfer mode now question number 7 the main reason why the use of semi automatic deep transfer mig mag welding is prohibited for some high integrity application is because so again deep transfer has come and uh, i have already explained that with in deep transfer chances of getting lack of side wall fusion or lack of fusion will be too much and th they are basically asking why this deep transfer is avoided so option e it may produce a lot of spatter the weld metal toughness is always pure it very often gives lack of side wall fusion defects option d is wire fitting problems mean there are usually far too many stop start regions so option c that is it very often gives lack of side wall fusion is the correct option why because deep transfer is something like intermittent it is not continuous and uh, it is intermittent transfer of molten metal means the wire the filler wire melts then goes back melts then goes back so it is intermittent metal transfer now question number 8 which of the following welding process is most susceptible to lack of fusion again lack of fusion so lack of fusion is uh, very likely to come in gmaw that is mig or mag welding gmaw that is mag welding with co2 so option b will be the correct answer i have not given any explanation because i have already explained this in my previous you know videos so spatter may be finally controlled during mig or mag welding by how spatters will be controlled in mag welding you know if you are aware of how mig welding or mag welding you might be knowing that spatters are very you know uh, they are very likely to come in mag welding or more spatters come so how it can be controlled our option is adjusting the inductor control the option a is the correct answer adjusting the inductance control so this inductance control is uh, given in many machines if that inductance control is available in that machine then by adjusting that inductance control you can control the spatters also quantity of spatters also see what happens the inductance control that regulates the rate rate of what they regulates the rate of current rise and fall so due to that regulation of the current rise and fall the spatters will be less likely to come
Now question number 10. In mag or CO2, max or CO2 welding, which parameter gives the greatest control of weld appearance during deep transfer or short circuiting welding? So I'll read the question again. In mag or CO2 welding, which parameter gives the greatest control of weld appearance? They are asking which parameter will give the greatest control of weld appearance during deep transfer or short circuiting welding. So option is wire stick out length, B is amperage, C is wire feed speed and D is inductance. So as I already in previous slide, the inductance control, this uh, this is a very important control and this not only you know reduce the number of spatters, this also controls the weld appearance. So weld appearance is also controlled by inductance. So option D will be the correct answer. Inductance control if available on the welding equip equipment can influence the characteristic of the welding arc affecting things like arc stability and control of the molten metal transfer. Now question number 11. Poor penetration would be found in MIG or MAG welded steels when using. So with pure argon, if you are using pure argon then the penetration will be not so deep and the pen penetration will be wider, shallower. So the option C is the correct answer. Your argon tends to produce a wider, shallower penetration. Wide and shallow penetration you will get, you will not get deep penetration with pure argon. So if you want very deep penetration, then you will have to add CO2 along with the argon. So friends, again, I will ask you or I would request you to please, please, please join my channel and support my initiative. Now my next question, question number 12, this is the last question. When considering the MIG or MAG welding process, which of the following metal transfer modes would be the most suited to the welding of thick plates over 25 mm and flat welding position? So it is giving the position flat and the thickness of the job is 25 mm and it is asking which uh, which of the metal transfer mode will be most su suitable. So option is deep transfer, option B is pulse transfer, option C is spray transfer, option D is globular transfer. Friends, the spray transfer will be the most appropriate answer for this. Uh, if I also say the spray and pulse, both these transfers are good for thick plates. But again, they have given second condition that is flat also. So for flat, spray transfer will be much appropriate answer option spray transfer will be the correct answer for thick and thick uh, uh, plate and flat position friends with this we have come to an end of our today's video i hope you like this video thank you very much